Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to AFTV. I have got some breaking news, but sort of positive injury updates. Now, before we get into that, um, make sure you guys, it's currently Halloween. Um, I got back late, 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 early hours of the morning from Preston after a sensational 3-0 win. Ethan Manieri ste stealing the show. Um, there was actually a write-up from Simon Collins, who we'll get into a bit later, talking about he spoke to Jesus, sorry, about Ethan Manieri, and he said, look, I saw Phil Foden when he was around the same age coming through at City, and basically he's, he's hoping that, you know, or he's expecting Ethan Manieri to kind of follow in that footsteps. I expect Ethan Manieri to surpass Phil Foden's, um, you know, ability and level, but he's, he's saying it was nice to see the talent of Ethan Manieri, and he's, he, he likens it to Phil Foden at the same age. So a lot of positive signs there, but like I mentioned before, it's Halloween all you guys into this news before we get into it please go check out the halloween special recorded by myself lee judges julian and turkish some creepy crawlies in there i didn't know what to expect i've never ha been faced with things like snakes you know um large african snails random things cockroach listen a lot of scary little creatures that we had to kind of hold and and um you know do content around so make sure you guys go check that out it's some it's hilarious content we've got People amongst us that have big fears that I never knew until doing that um, episode. So make sure you guys check that out. It's on the channel right now and it's out. And happy Halloween to everyone listening. Right, enough of the, the prelude. Let's get into the news, some positive news. And I woke up very late this morning <laughs> and saw this and said, I cannot wait to share this news because it's news I've been waiting to hear. So also coming from Simon Collins as well, who, who kind of broke this news and it's now circulate, circulating around many of the Arsenal, you know, platforms and, and, and the Arsenal world. We'll go straight into it and we can kind of diverse into, you know, the, the whole news as, as a whole. So here we go. Breaking news. Gabriel Magalhaes suffered um, suffered no long lasting injury versus Liverpool. Now, to, kind of, to remind you guys, he came, he came off, <coughs> excuse me, with a knee injury. Um, came off a knee injury and went straight down the tunnel. When I saw it against Liverpool, I was very, very worried. As you may remember we kind of had the bare bones in the back line when we finished that game he went straight down the tunnel and I think a lot of Arsenal fans were fearing the worst including myself I'm going to carry on with the news the Brazilian was available for yesterday's fixture versus Preston good news there but Arsenal opted against in, uh, his inclusion to rest a 26 year old he is fit for the trip to Newcastle out on Saturday lunchtime as you can see I'm smiling I'm happy to hear that Gabriel Magalhães I think is a big part of um you know, the partnership with William Saliba and Gabriel, uh, and, and Gabriel Magalhaes. And we saw, you know, William Saliba feature last night. I think he had a really good game. It's nice to see him back after his suspension. Um, so it'd be good to see him against Newcastle alongside Gabriel Magalhaes. That is positive news. I believe they both will be starting. Um, listen, nothing's confirmed, but if I was a betting man, which I'm not, I would say that Gabriel Magalhaes and Saliba will be back in that back line against Newcastle. And, and listen, Newcastle's not an easy fixture, especially away um, at St. James's Park. So... It'd be good to have them both fit in that back line and playing and available. There's more news. I'm not just happy to hear Gabriel Magalhaes is back, yeah? That, that, it's great news, that is, but this is, there's more to follow. It goes on to say, Martin Odegaard is making brilliant progress from his ankle injury. The Norwegian um, international has, has an outside opportunity to make this Saturday's fixture against Newcastle. If not, Arsenal hoping for the 25-year-old can play some part in the next week's trip to Italy to face Inter Milan in the Champions League. Some positive news there for all of us Arsenal fans. Now let's break into let's um, divulge into it. So obviously Gabriel Magalhaes, we mentioned, came off. He had his he had a knee scan and an ankle scan um, after that Liverpool game. So there might have been some issues there, but he's fully fit, as it's kind of said. It was available to play yesterday, but. Good from Arsenal, good from Mikel Arteta to put him to the side and say, look, just sit this one out. I've seen Arteta this season very much so react very well to players that aren't fully fit. Give them the break, give them the rest. Remember, I didn't break the news because I didn't want to go um, full full hog on it, shall we say, um, with Bukayo Saka when he was rested. He wasn't available. He didn't play at Bournemouth and I was told that he was available. Uh, and then obviously he didn't play in the Champions League against Shakhtar Zanes, but I kind of had, you know, information that he was a, he was fully fit, but he was being rested. So it's good that Mikel Arteta is continuing this theme to try and get the players back to full fitness by giving them time off, let them rest and get them back in the games that, listen, every game matters, but the games that matter, like the Premier League fixture that's coming this Saturday at lunchtime against Newcastle United. Martin Odegaard, to remind everyone as well, got injured September international break for Norway. So obviously... 
lot of um, frustration when it came to these these international breaks and and the players um, playing too many fixtures and not being rested. If you cast your mind back, it was in September where Odegaard has, um, first got his injury, his ankle injury, I believe. Um, and from then, we've we've coped without him. Trossard is filled in in that position. I think he's done a really good job. I think he has done well in that position. I think for me, he's better in that position than he is out on the left wing starting. I think he's better as an impact player off the bench if he's going to play on that wing. But um, he did cover Martin Odegaard very well. I actually don't have many complaints Um Oh, the Man City sending off. But again, I still think that's down to dubious refereeing as well. I think it was also a bit harsh, but, and it hasn't been consistent as we've seen. But with Martin Odegaard returning, um, they're saying outside chance for Newcastle. I, he might be in the squad for Newcastle. I don't expect him to get minutes though, even if he's in the squad, unless the game is screaming out for him. But I think we have enough in there. Like I said, Trossard, I think, has done really well. Hopefully he does play in that 10 role again. Um if Odegaard is not fully fit, but they're saying that um, he should be and most likely will be available uh, against Inter Milan, which is, is positive news, which is considering that is only next week. And I think a lot of fans expect him to be back mid-November. That kind of aligns with the timeline. Um, I knew there was some news that he, there was a setback, but that was all washed away. So he, they were saying he might be back till December, but that's clearly now a lie that um, it's looking like he'll be available by latest next week. I remember the news broke last week that he was on grass training. So that's a positive sign. Obviously, when it comes to an ankle in injury, it takes a bit of time to get, you know, the receptive muscles back to, you know, contact with the ball and 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 threading in those passes that we know Martin Odegaard can do. But again, massively positive news there that Odegaard should be back for next week. They're saying outside chance for Newcastle, but I going off the trend that Mick Arteta is doing, I don't expect him to risk uh, Martin Odegaard to play this early, but we'll all be happy to see him. And it does beg the question. I have to say this because, oh, listen, Odegaard, our captain, sensational. Yeah, love him. The press, the ability, the technical ability, the passes, his his vision, the way he leads the team, phenomenal. Trossard's done a good job covering, but as Robbie said in his fan cam yesterday, there is a new star emerging in Ethan Wanieri. What does that mean for him? A bit of an outsider question for me, considering this is an injury update um, video. But I do want to put the question mark on Ethan Wanieri. I think a lot of fans want to see him start. I think he has the capability to start um, for Arsenal. He's definitely got the quality. I understand Arteta might be bleeding him slowly. But where does that put Ethan Wanieri in the fact that Trossard done well covering Martin Odegaard while he's out? Odegaard is returning. Where do you see Ethan getting the opportunity? Um, does he? Does he you know, starting that midfield at some stage. I heard a fan reference him playing on the right wing, potentially, but obviously Saka's there. Could he play out on the left? I don't know. There, there's many questions, but it'll be nice to see more of him. But these are good questions. I'm happy. I woke up seeing this news very excited because it feels like we are close to a fully fit Arsenal side. And I'm telling you, I fully believe Arsenal can go and win, win a trophy, a major trophy this season, as long as there's a fully fit Arsenal side available. And we're very, very, very close to seeing that. So that is the news, people. Enjoy your Halloween. It's not a scary update. <laughs> it's a positive one. So make sure you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And like I said, please do go check out the Halloween content that is on AFCV because it's brilliant. Um, and yeah, like the video if you like the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And we'll see you very soon. Take care. Peace. Nah, wrong. No, no, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. I'm quite happy to look at him. No. Just do it. Just switch it off. No, nah, nah, I'm, I'm all right. Everyone's watching. Go on. <laughs> just do it. Shake it, look at Just go on. Oh, so, Jesus. it's, it's just, better just, if you, just if you just keep your hands on the table. Just yeah. keep really still and I'm just going to pop her right there. Oh, oh, no, no, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. said what I mean. I can't do it. You can do it. No, 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 I can't do it. You can't do it. There could be a fucking spider in here or anything. You can do it. You can do it. Whatever it is, you can do it. No, honestly. You can do it. You can do it. No, I no, you can, can't do, do it. it. I, I, you I, can do it. We'll no, lose. No, you no. can do it. I'm out. Everyone's We're watching. Not. You're not out. Do not give up. If that is a spider in here, it's only like this size. No, 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 no,